Function and Test of the First Exercise Program In Exercise Program 1, Switch S0 is to be used in order to switch on the motor. Switch S1 is used to control the direction of rotation of the motor. In the Exercise Assembly, switches S0 and S1 are on the simulator. The simulator switches 24 volt DC to inputs E0.0 and E0.1. The training model is connected to outputs A0.0, motor on or off, and A0.1, direction reversal of the PLC. The signal state of input E0.0 is assigned to output A0.0 with the program. The signal state of input E0.1 is assigned to output A0.1. Now let's test it. The operating voltage is connected. The assembly is correctly wired. You have already loaded the program from the diskette into the programming tool and transmitted it from there to the PLC. The PLC is in run mode. The green run LED is lit. Now operate switches S0 and S1 and observe the function. LEDs E0.0 to E0.7 indicate the signal states of inputs E0.0 to E0.7. LEDs A0.0 to A0.5 indicate the signal states of outputs A0.0 to A0.5. I and Q are the customary international symbols for inputs and outputs. Ladder logic elements Contactor Instruction on the PLC corresponding function Scan Is current flowing? If yes, then the result of the scan is true. Result is 1. Scan. Is no current flowing? If yes, no current, then the result of the scan is true. Result is zero. Coil. If the value true, current, is passed to a coil, it is activated. The coil starts up. Series circuit. And logic. The first switch and the second switch must be closed in order to pass current. Parallel circuit or logic. The first switch or the second switch must be closed in order to pass current. Zero or one are the only states in digital control logic. The zero state is designated as false and the one state is true. This is why we say scan is zero, false, or one, true. Transforming a circuit diagram. Change in direction of rotation. Switch S1 is connected to input E0.1 of the PLC. Contactor C1 is actuated by output relay A0.1 inside the PLC. motor on or off. Switch S0 is connected to input E0.0. In our example, contactor C0 can be replaced by PLC output relay A0.0. How do you transform a circuit diagram into a PLC program? Rotate your circuit diagram 90 degrees to the left. Your power rail will then usually appear on the left with the grounding rail on the right. In the middle, you will see the switching elements of your circuit. The circuit logic of a machine, for example time relays or flip-flops, which used to be implemented by wiring together switches, auxiliary contactors and control contactors, etc., is now handled by the PLC. 
Control elements such as input switches, selector switches, etc. on the input side and power contactors such as motor contactors, polarity reversers, valves, etc. on the output side cannot be replaced by the PLC.